of Long Island, Lonnie, the Suffolk County downright dangerous tonight. The snow has been coming down hard for hours. That's where CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff picks up our coverage. She's live in Lake Grove where there is very low visibility. Carolyn. Yeah, there is indeed. This has to be what they mean when they talk about whiteout conditions. The snow has been coming down heavily here in Suffolk County for hours, and it's really whipping into your... Take the world's longest parking lot at Friday rush hour and add in a blizzard and you have this, a hazardous mess. Hundreds of cars stopped on the highway, frustrated drivers desperate to remove ice from fogging windshields. Some doing it while driving, countless others stopping in the middle of roads. How's the driving? It's terrible. My wife has just died. Officials warned drivers to stay off the roads, but the heavy snow started falling in Suffolk County as nine to fivers were still making their trek east. The result, countless cars in ditches and stuck in snow drifts. It's, it's horrible. For those making their way into Suffolk, it was hours on end to move a few miles. It's horrible. It's not good at all. And the, we need cloud trucks out here. Cars perched up on an ice bank. Got two minutes up. So nobody could get through? No. Yeah, everyone's stuck. It, it rained and iced, and then it snowed on top of it. And there's, there's nothing you can do. You can't push it. You can't drive through it. We can't keep up with it. The road's truly becoming the main story of this blizzard, at least so far here in Suffolk County. You can see Route 347 behind me with disabled cars really abandoned in the middle of the road. The road's so bad that a little while ago, Suffolk County announced no one allowed, no passenger vehicles allowed on their two biggest roadways through Suffolk County, Sunrise Highway and the Long Island Expressway. They're closed to passenger vehicles, only emergency crews allowed for police to get to all those disabled cars and for the plows to be able to do their job. And they haven't even started yet on the smaller roads. That's the latest from Lake Grove, Long Island. Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Carolyn, thank you. CBS 2's Hazel.